Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Kyle Can't Games. So today we were going to go on a big taming spree and it was going to be a lot of fun, but here's something I got to do. I need to upgrade the base a little bit and uh, get a fabricator going and all that stuff because look at this, I keep dying in my own base. It's 123 degrees in here. So first thing, I'm going to make some medical brew so that hopefully we can, uh, you know, survive a little longer. Uh, at least long enough to get a fabricator and some air conditioners up, you know? So let's grab this and this, we'll throw them in the cooking pot. Uh, narcotics, Tintos. Do I have water in there? I do not. So let's, oop, let's use that, transfer that. Light fire. I can make one. It. Oh, I don't need to keep the water in there, do I? Why can't I? Why was it using the other stuff for the kibble? Hmm, that's kind of weird. Let me grab that other jar then. And we will make... Where is the other jar? There it is. And yeah, look at this. Just while we've been talking, I'm down to 150 health. Like, it's just kind of crazy, man. The uh, temps are just kind of crazy. So let's fill this up. And then it keeps stacking. I don't know how to work the, uh... I don't know how to work the... I don't know how to work the, uh, stack mod, because I can't access INI files. I don't want it to stack... To stack water jars, right? Is Or is that a vanilla thing? It never used to be, but, I mean, it's entirely possible that it... Oh, see, and it just stacked... And used the water, too. That's so annoying. But, yeah, let's make another one of these... When it does that, we'll pull this out. Boom. Throw those back in there. Boom. And I'm going to keep doing this for a while till we get probably, oh, I don't know, like 10. I'm sure we'll die in the meantime there. Um, I guess we can start making a... Start making a fabricator. And then I did a ton of uh, resource harvesting because... I had the RG, right? So I got a bunch of stuff. We should be able to make a pretty good amount of, of uh, whatever you want to call it. Foundations, building materials, that kind of stuff. So, whoops. There we go. Boom in there. Look up fabricator. Fabricator. One of those. Cool. And then I already got some oil and... Uh, and hide it going in this bad boy to make gas, so we're up to 100 gas already, which is pretty cool, obviously. That'll last us a while on single player, since we're not running overnight while, uh... You know, while the game's turned off, it's not running, you know what I mean? So, uh... Oh, and now this is working. It's letting me craft two. It's so weird. It's like, is it getting water from over there or not? I, I honestly can't tell. But, it is letting us craft without having to pull out from the inventory and manage it like that. So that is good, at least. That part is certainly good. And then, before I die, do I have time to get this fabricator down? I kinda doubt it. Yeah, the temps in this game are ridiculous. And, like, fortitude... Yeah, that looks terrible. It takes up way too much space. But uh, fortitude is worthless, like pumping fortitude in this is... I've been on servers where I've been up to like 140 fortitude and, you know, this still happens. So, you know, part of it's gear, you know, as we get better gear. Oh crap, I gotta wait for this. Uh, maybe I can... Yeah. Um, as you get better gear, right? It's better ghillie and all that kind of stuff. It can help out for sure, but... Uh, yeah, we need to get a couple air conditioners down for sure. So, let me run back up here. Alright, I'm back. And you know, that's the weird thing too, is like, it's always like really strange times that you wouldn't think when it's going to be super hot. Like it was 123 at 5 in the morning, it's 87 at 615. And that happens consistently enough that I have to think, like it's just, it's not on purpose, it's somehow bugged. It's just acting weird, you know, so, um, you know, 
we want to uh, get ourselves to a place where we don't care that it's acting weird because we're prepared for everything, right? So let's load this up with stuff we need. I know we'll need crystal, polymer, uh, pearls for electronics. Let's go ahead and do that. 391, nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I do want to do, actually? This, so I want to save world. I want to go get a, an explorer note, because if I'm going to be crafting all this stuff, this uh, higher level stuff, you know, having the explorer note buff will help a lot, because I did gain a couple levels doing stuff with the RG. I'm up to 77 now, but, you know, soon we'll be at, um, what is it, 81 for scuba? 80 or 81 for scuba, and obviously that is uh, nice and cool, and we want scuba. And then I'm also like, I don't know if it's one of my mods, but I'm getting this weird kind of, ooh, Dimetrodon. Could have just tamed him, I guess. They act as uh, mobile air conditioners for regulating heat. And, you know, I could get an otter and all that kind of stuff too, but like, it just seems like a bigger hassle than it needs to be, you know, for just trying to play the game. But also, you know, I'm getting this weird stuttering on my screen. I don't know how much of it you can actually see or what. Where's this Explorer note? Uh, it kind of looks like it's coming through my OBS preview, so I think you guys will be able to see some of it. I'm assuming that, like, one of my mods is just acting up a little bit. Uh, I, it is currently, what, May 20th? So, last, over the weekend was, uh, the big, one of the big patches that came out with, uh, the Arc Editions creatures and stuff. How is there an Ichthyornis? Yes, one of my mods must not be loading in, because, like, I should not have an Ichthyornis. Right? I've got Stop the Steal. And I'm showing that floppy disk in the bottom, but it's not actually there. You know, it's just really strange. And I'm worried that I'm going to crash and lose the entire save. But, I mean, you know, you gotta you got to play and deal with that as it comes, right? It's Ark. And that thing... And how does that thing keep stealing berries? Do I even have berries in the... Oh, I do have berries in the RG. Okay. Let's get up here and kill this stupid bird. Come on, you stupid icky. That time it took some prime meat. Okay. Cool. Alright, Ichthyornis is dead. Good. Stupid Ichthyornis. Stupid sexy Flanders. Ooh, that's a cat, bro. Let's stay over here. But yeah, there is an Explorer note over here I wanted to grab. But like I was saying, I think over the weekend was uh, when they put out the Arc Editions creatures, like the Ceratosaurus and all that stuff, and like nobody's mods were acting right, and it was killing like everybody's... 150 female Rhineo. Oh my lord. I want that. I want that so bad. But we cannot get that. Because we don't even have... We have not even seen a male to uh, get the pheromone. But yeah, the update crashed like a ton of people's mods and like people couldn't get on servers. Like this morning, I actually was planning on starting a uh, Primal Chaos 100 Days recording on Scorched. And mods are just, like, kind of broken right now, especially for servers and stuff. It's causing, like, full-on restart loops and yada, yada, yada. PC and PlayStation got uh, patched over the weekend to fix it. I figured Xbox would get, like, first thing in the morning on Monday would get a fix, but uh, that has not happened. And it's now 4 o'clock in the afternoon central, and it has still not happened. So, I mean, who knows what is going on, like, honestly. But let's save world. All right. And then we'll get in here. Let me grab the gas. And I guess we'll grab the metal that's cooked. And we'll turn on the fabby. Turn on. And so for a generator, we'll need 10 
and then for an air conditioner I want to make three if we can so 45 there so 55 total maybe a fridge too so 65 total and I can make 142 I mean screw it let's just go ahead and make all 142 right and then um, yeah I'll go AFK for that actually I'm gonna craft all these things so generator two or three air conditioners one uh, one fridge and then we'll see you guys when it's time to start building and then yeah we'll have some fun all right we are back we got the generator working out here and we got three ACs placed so two in here and I love that they snap into the windows now I knew that was a thing on S plus wasn't hundred percent sure if it was gonna be a thing on ASA and uh, also I love that you don't have to have gas in the fabby you can just use the the power from the generator it's so convenient um, so I'm gonna keep crafting these but I do want to start making the the base and so or the the um, what do you want to call it yeah the new base that's that's the word for it so let's get all this and we'll start making some stone for oh I've got a ton of a ton of metal on me that weighs a lot cool uh, so we'll start making some stone foundations. I think I want to start going six by four. Oh, I'm gonna need to, uh, well, I guess, yeah, we'll go six by four. And we're gonna build in the same spot, so, you know. I like this spot, it's really convenient, and, uh, aside from being insanely hot at really weird random times of the day, it's a great spot. So I'm gonna stick here and, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go... That got all my stone, didn't it? I mean, I know I have some more stone in the smithy, but that took up a lot, a lot of stone. So I'm going to see what all I can build uh, with resources back here, and then I will uh, probably go collect more, and then I'll bring you guys back when it's time to actually do the building, because watching somebody craft stuff in their inventory is not exactly riveting. All right, we got some stuff crafted up. Let me uh, dump a little bit into this RG. Oh, and this uh, Anki saddle, I looted it overnight. I was keeping it in the inventory to uh, show you guys. But yeah, that came out of a, um, a yellow drop, I think, if I remember right. But I want to start placing these, and I'll show... Well, we'll get up on the Anki and show you guys. So I want to be still on this same peninsula where I am, right? But I just wanted to move forward a little bit so that I can, uh, you know, just have plenty of room. So, I think I want to go right in this middle section, like where the screen is pointed. Kind of center across the peninsula. Uh, but I do know that I'll need to, um, you know, it's not perfectly level, right? So I'll need to start the foundations at like this level. And then bring them back. So I want to go... Let's see, um, I guess we'll start right here. Will that go across? Perfect, perfect. That's three, four, five, and six. And then we'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, 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 three. We'll go pick this guy up. There we go. Picked him up, and let's go. Oop. Well, that was dumb. Up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Cool. And how's that look for right now? Looks really good. I like it. Cool. So let's, uh, I want to, yeah. Next thing was the gate, which... I think right here is whoop. that is centered right two on that side two in the middle two on that side cool so we'll place this and then we'll start building up some walls so let me grab all these walls how many do I have 44 um, I'm not sure that'll be enough I want to go as high as the gate is obviously right so let's see and do we want I guess we'll do a door right here, right, and a door right here, 
And then we'll go window. Window. Full wall. Full wall. Wall, wall. Window. Window. And now I thought... I thought the gates, like, snapped with ceilings now. Do they not? Do you have any ceilings on you, Mr. Argent? Two ceilings. Yeah, I thought that was one of the changes with ASA, right? Maybe, I mean, apparently not. Because if that ceiling is there... It's going to be ever so slightly off. Right? Oh no, that is flat. It just didn't look like it. No, let me let me land on the ceiling. Yeah, that is flat. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Alright, so let's finish putting up these walls then, and I think we might have enough. At least to get the shell started, you know? So we'll do this. I wanna keep going. Um, window, 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 window. Well, that didn't work out perfect, did it? Because the front and the back don't mirror. Okay. So I didn't want to have any of the windows touching, but it looks like they'll have to touch on this one, which, you know, that's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And as I have said before, I am not a builder. But building on ASA is quite a bit easier than, uh, or doing, oh crap, need some water. I better go get one of these, I guess. But building on ASA, making a decent looking building at least, is certainly easier than it was on ASE. So hopefully I can uh, come up with something that doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, being the keyword, right? But let's get up here. Oh, you know what? And I'm going to want to put a door frame back here. A double door frame again. Cool. And then the rest will be regular wall, regular wall, regular. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Place this. Alright, and then the second layer will go straight walls. All the way across. Nope, snap where I tell you to. Where I want you to. Then I think for the top layer, I want ceilings all the way across. Right? So, snap there, there. Because, like, I want... I'm out of walls already? Oh, no, Mr. RG. Do you have any more? Do you have any more? You do not. Hmm. Well, let me jump up here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go gather a ton more stuff. I'll spend, like, several minutes gathering and then bring you guys back when... when that part is done. Right? Because, yeah, I'm out of wood in here. I do have some thatch. I've got a little bit of wood in the RG, right? A hundred? Yeah, I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to harvest for a little bit, which is totally fine, so I'll see you guys back in a bit. Yeah, now look at this. My base is right there. I can show you. Right there. And I'm right over here. And two hours after I died from overheating, it is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Just broken. Alright, y'all. We got the rest of the windows up. And I made up a crap ton of ceilings. So we're going to load the ceilings up here. All the way across. Come on, just snap for me, please. 
Uh, let's see. That'll be enough so we can... Oh, and I got the doors put in too, so that's all looking good. So I'm going to jump up here on the RG and we will place the rest of these ceilings. And then, let's see, 42. So one... Nope. Nope, you need to face the same direction as your friends, please. How do you uh, rotate? Flip? Nope, 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 nope. Can I do it with on this one first? Oh, the cellar doors are just apart. Nice, that's cool. There we go, that got into place right. Come on, man, I'm in first person. That's how you're supposed to build, right? There we go. Finish these off. And then, come on. And there we go. How many do we have left? 24, cool. So I do want to start going around because we're going to have a little bit of a balcony off the top. So we'll do that. Boom, 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 bam, done. What's that leave? Eight more? Cool. So let's take a look from down here. See if it looks stupid from the front. Uh, kinda, just because we don't have any... Just because it sticks out further from the foundation and the floor, right? So I think if we bring the foundation outside out by one or two that'll look better and I think I also want to do a little bit a balcony on the front as well so we'll do this 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 here here oh holy crap that was the perfect amount okay cool that's uh, that's awesome Cool, so that is a good start. I want to pick up a few things uh, and just get them in here, right? So let's like, since we're going to be working in there, let's go ahead and pick this up. And we'll get this guy in there. Pick you up, get you in there. Get all three of these in there, awesome. Um, maybe the Fabby, too. No, because I don't know exactly how I want to do a workstation yet. You know what I mean? Oop. Better get some water. No. Drink. And we're back up to 91 degrees. Perfect. Love to see it. Alright, throw that in here. So let's... Oh, I do... I want to see if I can put the generator under that's a thing right is it too tall is it gonna be too tall it's gonna be too tall that's fine because uh, here actually you know what I want to pick up even more now that I think about it I'll pick up the this row come on because here, obviously, like, if we're going to have a balcony up top, we're going to need access from the bottom. So I think we're going to have a staircase coming down here, right? We can kind of wall that staircase in a little bit. So I think, so let's pick this up and this up. We'll replace them as just regular walls. And then I'll place the Jenny right here. Don't snap. Yeah, so we'll have the staircase here, right? And the Jenny will be hidden. And then the other little trick that I want to do, boom, right there, is these air conditioners will 100... Wait, did that turn on? It's really quiet. It is on. Is it visible from outside? No. Cool, okay. That's perfect. That went better than I thought it would. Okay. But I want to put uh, air conditioners underneath these foundations that way 
We don't have to see them, and since you never have to access their inventories, they'll just be going, right? That's how eventually... Eventually we'll probably, like, take this back section, or maybe, like, over here or something, and have a pretty big breeding barn, or actually maybe over here, because there's uh, more space over here for sure. But we'll have a breeding barn, and we'll have air conditioners just, like, all over the floor in there. Um... And that way we don't have to see them, but eggs can always hatch. And let's just check the generator range. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good size just for being a electric generator, right? Like it's because I know the tech ones are enormous, but that's that's a pretty good size, man. Who needs a base larger than that? Cool. So let's do that, and then uh, you know I need to farm up a ton more stuff. The plan was to go get. An Anki, a Doed, and a Beaver today to finish up the base build, but I needed to get these these ACs down, man. It was it was starting to get honestly just nuts. Um, you know what? So I think I will actually. I'm going to bring the rest of this stuff over, and then. Well, no, I don't want to pick up everything because I don't know exactly how I want it to be. But I do want to bring this, and this, and the smithy as well. We'll do that too. Is that going to be way too heavy? Yes, it is. We can drop that, and we can walk. Cool. And I'm thirsty again already because it's so stinking hot. Cool. So let's get this set up real quick. I'll probably just throw the smithy down and get everything in there, just like right away. But this kind of wall can be our workstation for now, right? And then we can do like a living area upstairs, I suppose. So let's do smithy. Boom. And we'll throw everything in here. And then let's go grab the, uh... Let's go grab that metal. Cool. Because while we're over here, I actually want to check out the Archimatic stuff. But let me throw down the Fabricator first. Where are you, bud? There you are. Why does it always transfer other stuff? Okay, cool. Um, fabricator can go in this corner. And then, so for the Archimatic workbench, let's see what that takes. Archomatic workbench. So what all is even in here? Um, so that's an industrial Ford. That's a... I don't know. A wood baker. Bakes wood to charcoal. Okay. Meat spoiler. Spoiler a ton of meat. Poop collector. Egg collector. I definitely want those. Uh, it also makes fertilizer. Cool. So I don't think this Archimatic is going to be broken, right? It's really just going to save me, like, some time of having a dung beetle and waiting on it to craft fertilizer. Keeps any item that can spoil from spoiling for a very long time and has text display. Oh, so I could have, like, just a straight-up kibble fridge versus a food fridge. That's nice. And then this is a small vault to secure goods. Cool. So let's make the workbench, because I know there's some other items in the workbench that we can make. Like, specifically, they have, like, a small version of the, uh, of the, uh, forge. So where was that? Arc. Oops. Archimatic workbench. I still need oil. Okay. There's some oil. Make one of those. Put all this stuff back. Transfer. Oh, crap. I moved the workbench. There we go. And then, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, guess we can go right here in the middle, right? Nice, I like it. What all do we make in here? Oh, this is just where everything gets made. Okay. So what is this? That's the ammunition crafter. Oh, those forges are higher level than I am. Okay, I thought... I thought they were like early industrial forge, but I guess not. So what level is that? Level 80. Oh, and we're close to that. 77. Cool. What what level is the regular industrial forge then? 
80. Oh, so I guess the only advantage is that it's like smaller or something? Okay. Interesting. Now, I do want to get poop collector, egg collector right right now, might as well. Because the problem with the moss chops is, you know, I've got them all right here. And they're all... I have to turn them on to breeding when I want the eggs and then turn off breeding. Because I don't want to end up with like... I don't want to go AFK for 30 minutes and end up with, you know, 400 moss chops all sitting there waiting for me. What was the other thing? Oil, right? Cool. So let's make the two collector's items. Collector's items. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. We'll set these up and uh, that'll probably be it because now that we're at least not dying to the heat because of the AC, I want to get some utility tames before I start doing a massive build, you know, and I want this to be pretty large, pretty intricate. You know, I've never been a builder, like I said, but with ASA, it's so cool and it's so easy and it's so good that, you know, I want to see if I can actually do it because I promise you, I swear to God, if I can do it, you can do it when it comes to that. And then let's see. So turn on, hold for options, turn it on, collecting, okay. Options, turn off, access inventory, set pin code, rename, demolish, range settings, collect settings, range settings. Decrease range, decrease range, decrease range, increase range to max. And uh, collect settings, pick up fertilized eggs, pick up unfertilized eggs enabled 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 okay those are all enabled cool is the range setting in it what is it decrease to minimum decrease increase range plus 5,000 well, let's show the range oh that's a pretty large range too so that'll cover all the moss chops cool so let's get them on breeding we'll just make sure that it's actually working right so let's look in that thing's inventory now whoops one egg it's collecting again in however long this is already oh that's dope and you just have to put in the thatch and it'll make fertilizer i want to see how fast it makes fertilizer where did my rg go oh he's over here what are you doing over here bud what are you doing over here bud Give me some thatch. You don't have any thatch. I had the thatch on me, so it's here in the smithy, right? All right, let's put a little bit of thatch in there. Oh, it's already got a bunch, dope. And that makes fertilizer very quickly. Wow, that's very cool, very cool. Like, I don't think that's broken because, like, it's not like I'm playing PvP. And even if I was, you know, nobody else is playing with us. Why is there only one egg? Why are you guys still mating? What's what's the hold up here, huh? Hurry up with the whole getting it on thing, man. Right, let's turn off the range on these things. Um. Range settings, show range, cool. Very cool. I guess that means we can probably bring the Fiomia up here instead of having them down there. Um, what else does this take? So everything just takes paste, metal, and oil in here, cool. Bakes wood to charcoal at a super fast rate, and the meat spoiler. That's awesome. Ammunition crafter, I'm not too worried about that. The fridge we might take a hold of, and the vault we definitely will once we get to it. But let's, uh, are these guys done yet? Ready to mate in 24 minutes. And I didn't see any eggs on the ground, so let's check this out. And it's got four eggs... And yes, see those did start, those had started incubating like immediately. So I'm really glad I put that collector up because that means now, oh my god, dehydrated again. 
Now we can just leave them on breeding, collect the eggs, start going nuts. Uh, eat a little bit of food. How hot is it? 123 again at 9 in the morning. And at 7, four steps over, it was 21 degrees. And at 5 in the morning, it was 123. So, you know, fun stuff. But what was I just talking about? Um. Uh, crap, what was I talking about? Oh, I want to grab this fertilizer. These two fertilizers, very nice. We'll throw them into the crop plots. And then I also want to check how many lemons we have to, uh, to see if we have enough to make some kibble. 17, yes, that is most definitely enough to make some kibble. What do we have on these? 28 on the potatoes. 26 rock carrots, and I got like 40 in the fridge up there out of a drop. And then long grass, 25. Dope, man. So that is coming along very nicely. We'll be in Kibble City real quick. Let's pick you up and just bring you up so you're pooping where it gets collected. I don't want to waste any good old piggy poop, you know? So wasteful to not collect the poop. Alright, nice, man. Well, that was pretty good. I mean, we got the basis, or the basic shell of the base, just like last time. I do want to expand out probably two on the stone foundations. And then, you know, I want to do a nice roof. I kind of want to do a roof that's not, like, perfectly square. Not just, like, three up on that side and three up on that side. But I don't know if it's going to look stupid to do, like, a slight A-frame just on the top. You know what I mean? But then we could also do... I guess if we did... I'll have to play with this. And I might do it on cam just so you guys can, like, see what I'm talking about. But if we did these these four going across the roof up so the roof was like way more this direction and then on this side we only had the two coming down but over here off the staircase we had another little lookout with another one coming down or two coming down there like that could look cool because it would be like offset roof on this side and then like two roofs that were kind of offset from the other roof but in sync with each other I don't it's making sense in my head I think it'll make sense I think I'll be able to actually build it but like I said not a builder by any stretch of the imagination but okay cool so we will uh we will call it there for today and then we'll be going out getting uh Anki, Doed and uh Casteroides or a Mammoth soon because we want to expand this and we don't want to do everything by hand and let's see I'm in here let me close all the doors three air conditioners and I'm still getting the hot symbol it's 129 now that's just insane man at least my health is going back up but good lord that's just so crazy to me so crazy but anyway yes we're gonna call it there for today uh, if you made it this far I very much appreciate it uh, and we will see you in the next one thanks